going to do our walkthrough and delivery of the RV. Am I nervous? Absolutely. Am I excited? Absolutely. Big step in our life, big change is coming. How does it feel driving the truck with the trailer behind it? It's um, heavy. Definitely tell the difference in the startup. Braking is definitely something that's got to be practiced. The turns weren't that bad, but once I'm cruising, it's you can tell it's like the trailer's not there until you start to brake again. But I'm excited. Excited to learn. So how does it feel? You guys look, it looks so good. Of all the RVs driving down the road, this is definitely, this is definitely something to be proud of. I'll tell you what, the way they finish the back end of this, the, the paint scheme and everything. It looks good. It, it's really sweet looking out, it looks good on camera. The blue, the blue looks yeah. awesome.
Arizona fall where you're still sweating when you're just trying to back in your RV for the first time. It was a little nerve wracking for me. Uh, haven't had to back something this big on a pivot point before, but uh, a couple trial and errors and I got it in there. Diane actually didn't yell at me and I didn't yell at her, so that was pretty good. No fighting, that was great. Yeah. I'll tell you what, on the surface streets, every half mile with a stoplight, it sucked because it does bounce a little bit and the roads aren't great. But once we hit that stretch where there's no lights for two miles, it was like nothing. And then when we jumped on the freeway for a couple of miles, it didn't even feel like it was back there. It was great. Dodge Ram 3500 with the Cummins diesel. Cool. And it, it was great. Pulled it like it wasn't even there on the freeway. I'm looking forward to it. And I noticed my gas wasn't going down as quick either. So that's a plus. So no, I think this is great. I haven't stopped smiling since we've got it. <laughs> it's kind of scary, but... Yeah, but it's great. Hi, right, bye guys. Don't forget bye. to subscribe. <laughs>